welcome to another episode of the Hyundai Dog Call. On this week's show, I'll be interviewing a member of the Red Dog family. So please welcome and make some crazy noise for Corporal John Scott. How are you doing today? Thank you, Sam. I appreciate it. I've been waiting to be on your show. Well, now is your time to shine, I my know, dude. I'm ready. Yeah, so. I studied. All right. Ready, steady, let's begin. Okay. How long have you been serving at Springdale High School? This is my fifth year of serving as a teacher and an SRO at Springdale High School. Wow. Thank, wow. And, and let me say, thank you for your service personally. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. If it weren't that. for you, we wouldn't have any, we wouldn't have anything without you, my man. Without thank you, you sir. my dude. Thank you. Okay. Anyways, during your eight years living in the Army, what important lessons did you learn? Wow, that's a lot. Um, I spent so much time in the Army that uh, I learned a lot of lessons because I went in as a teenager. And um, when I came out, I think the, the best lesson that I have learned was communication and do, wow. being able to, to know how to communicate to to your peers and to your superiors and to your subordinates and not just to talking to them but also listening to them. So communication. Yep, communication is the best thing to do. All right, how many of your students work in the law field? Oh, wow. Um, so the Law Academy, this is the 21st year that the Law Academy has been going on here at Springdale High School and I'm say we're up at around 180 to 200 students that have graduated from the wow. the Bulldog Law Academy and have gone on to pursue some type of career in criminal justice or law. Wow, and I've seen some of your law students in my astronomy class. Mm -hmm. Yep, all right. If you could have any job besides being a cop, what would it be? Well... Um, this is going to sound a little cliche, but I think uh, being a teacher, uh, I, I like to train people. I did training in the military, I did training in the police department, and now I'm teaching here, so I'll be a teacher. If you were stuck in an island with one person, what would it be, and why? Oh, if I was stuck on an island with one person, uh, let me think. My wife? Wow. That's a good, that's a good answer, right? Yes, it so, is. Yeah, my good wife, answer. no, we get along answer. great, we like to cook, so... Uh, we're very skilled and we're both survivors, so All right. probably my wife. All right, good. Good kind of, answer, she's good kind answer. Of cute too, so. Yeah. <laughs> what type of food would you be if you were a food? Man, this is the hardest one. Uh, I'm going to have to say venison. Wow. That's a deer. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a deer. Arby's had, had a venison sandwich once. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's nothing better than hunting some deer and watching NASCAR. That's right. <laughs> Another left-hand turn. Yeah, baby. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, seeing into the future. Wow. Yep, I'd know what was going on, and I could, that way I could, I could try to help people before something happened to them. All right. What is another use for a pencil besides writing? Well, the only thing I can think of is... Something from John Wick, so a weapon. Yeah, but you better watch out for the pencil robbers around here. I know, look out for them. Yeah, yeah. All right, final question. What would be your walk-in song? Oh, man, a walk-in song. Like I was on a baseball team, they were going to play it. I'm pretty old school. Uh, I like cold classic country, so I'm going to say Jimmy Dean, Big John, Big Bad John. Yeah. All right. That's all I've got for you guys this week on the Hunting Dog Call. Thank you all for joining me. And until next, and until next time, remember, every day is a great day to be a Springdale Bulldog. Woo! Yeah!